Good morning, everyone. My name is Kimberly Wright. Thank you for joining Making Something Out of Nothing, the class all about recycled crafts. Sorry. All right. Today we're going to be discussing our project as it pertains to the lady sculpture. Last week we used the fabric, uh, applying the plastic of Paris, soaking it in there to get a, a design for our uh, her dress. Um, I don't know what you all created, but hopefully you created some really uh, unique things um, as it pertains to your piece. And if you need more time, I need more time so we can um, do that. So let me just give me a second. All right, so basically what I have here is, go back. What I have here is my piece. Just bring it down a little closer. As you can see, basically, um, the reason what I was saying was, since we are doing the classes in Zoom, and live, I would have loved to paint my piece in class. However, I don't see how I would have been able to do that using the spray paint because I'm in the home and um, I had to spray it outside. So I kind of started spray pre-painting it this morning and um, it's dry enough to show what I have. Um, as you can see on certain parts that I didn't get to where you see the white in the creases, I have to go back and uh, get another spray. However, you can even see on these areas here. However, certain flaps, like as you can see, I'm just giving you some um, direction if your piece is going through something like this. Certain flaps like this that aren't together, I'm gonna go back and glue them and I'm going to add some glue in just in the seam. And she's actually supposed to be a little bit more up, holding her cloth like so. Mm -hmm. So I still have a little bit more work to do on her arms. And, you know, just be very creative. You may want to add some embellishments like glitter or rhinestone or even some other type of fabrics, you know, be very creative, it's up to you. And one thing I wanted to say about, uh, if you notice when we mixed the plastic of Paris and I soaked the fabric into the, uh, when I soaked the plastic of Paris, uh, the fabric into the plastic of Paris, it actually wrapped her dress and everything. Um, I went back and added more water and more water into my plastic Paris before I poured it into that glove that we were using. Actually, my glove never solidified because I watered my plastic Paris down too much. So, I don't know if you all had any, uh, I don't know if you all had any uh, luck with that as it pertains to some great something good that came out of it but if you want to share feel free um as far as this project i just would like to say do you have any questions anybody go ahead miss jean you have to uh unmute yourself okay i have everything ready except i haven't put the plaster of paris together yet mm -hmm. do i dip the T-shirt in the plaster of Paris and then just drape it across the figure. Once you have mixture of plaster of Paris and you saw how we mixed it last week, you no, to... no, you did no, not. no. You were not in class. I wasn't. I couldn't get in. Oh well, we still have not uh, uploaded those. We still haven't uploaded those videos to YouTube, but that class will be on YouTube next week. Okay. So I'll just say that you're supposed to use two parts plaster of Paris to one part water. 
And what that means is simply, if you use two cups of plaster of Paris, you're gonna use one cup of water. The water has to be cold, not hot or not warm. You can, we wanna use cold water because cold water helps to slow the, uh, the, the process down of it becoming hard. It won't become hard. If you use hot water, warm water, the Plaster of Paris will be getting, uh, it'll be setting, sorry, setting quicker than it would with cold water. The next thing is, you, you as far as your bowl or your container that you're gonna use to mix it in, you want to pour the water in there first. Not the Plaster of Paris and then pour the water on top of that. You wanna have the water in there first and then sort of drizzle the plastic pairs in the water and as it hits the water, it dissolves. Then you just take something and mix it, make sure it's mixed really well and then you start to dip your cloth in there. You was writing some of that down, Miss Jean, or anybody? Yes, yes ma'am. <laughs> so did I go too fast? You wanted me to- I think I had to put the water in first. First, and then drizzle the plaster of Paris over the water and you'll start to see it dissolve and just mix it and then soak your cloth in there then. So I'll, I'll try. <laughs> I'm going to finish with her next week. It's just a few things I have to do. Uh, I mean, there are no excuses because, you know, I always say don't beat yourself up if you haven't finished the project. We all have a lot of things to do in life and um, last week we were called to work at the uh, facility, at the Darnell facility. Um, they were giving out some um, vaccines for the COVID-19 uh, pandemic. Um, so, I'm gonna, okay, uh, Kim, yes, we have so much to do, plus we have a disease. <laughs> yes, yes, it's going around. All right, so, I just wanted to say, although we will be sharing our pieces next week, I'm going to uh, write in the chat if you want to get paper and pen, what you will be needing for the next project. Okay. We will need twenty. You will need cardboard. Oh. Mm. And you will need glue. All right, this project is not, I'm sorry, it's not the next project. It's actually the, this project, I want to give you time to, I'm saying over time, when everybody gets, I'll keep asking over time if everybody got their paper towel rolls because it takes time to uh, save those up. Um, that may be in after May sometime, but I just want you to be mindful of when you have paper towel rolls, save the two that's inside of them until you get about 20. All right. But next project newspaper or magazine. Two. Dowels, three, blue, 
Sorry, L my school. Okay. And paint. Who's for the brother? Dowels. Oh, this is towels. All right. So the actual next project we're going to do is using the same process that we used before when we made the uh, the cycle. We just did a cycle recently. It's like a bike a paper cycle. We use these dowels right here, wooden dowels. They have different sizes in a pack. Now, I always say if you don't have a dowel, it's other things that you might possibly use. I have something like a skewer, but to me a skewer is too skinny to use. It's too thin. You'll be working all year. But anyway, the largest dowel may be too thick. However, you can experiment with it. I, I sort of like the medium one, but you need some dowels. You're going to need some newspaper or magazine. That's optional. You can use newspaper or magazine. I like to use the magazine papers because they are slick and they already are have they already have beautiful color on them. You know, solid or or bold colors that will really stand out on your um, art piece. And you're going to need some Elmer's glue. This is just a, a dispenser of, uh, sorry, a condiment dispenser that I have that I put my glue in sometimes just so that it can come out really easily. Hope everybody's feeling well out there. Can I ask you that one more time? You said the dowels. They supposed to be different sizes or they all supposed to be one size? Just one size. You only need one. The one that you're going to work with. Okay. Kim, aren't those the same one we made those dolls out of? The dowels? Isn't that the same one we rolled same. those up in the paper towel? The same thing. I mean in the magazine. It's the same thing we made the dolls out of. So okay. You only need one stick, probably one magazine, and if you don't have magazine, you can use paper, but me personally, I just like to use magazine again because of the colors of the, you know, the papers. Okay. You don't have to use your good magazines. Like sometimes as it pertains to this class, magazines are very valuable as it pertains to the pictures. If you have pictures of like uh, civil rights figures or famous people, celebrities, you can use those when we um, make uh, things like uh, collages and stuff. Uh -huh. so, yeah. For example, I'll show you a collage that I made. It's it's not for Black history, but it's a Black uh, piece of art, per se. And I call it the Black House. Hi, Pam. Hey, baby. How are you? I'm glad you got me. Oh, that is nice. Ooh. That's nice, Kim. I like that. Yes. Got the curtains in the window. Mm. I still may add to it a little, but this is like a side dedicated to music. Ooh, I like that. Me too. This is some more. That's a Black History building. <laughs> That's great. Nice. See my curtains in the windows I use uh, with real African fabric. Yeah. yeah. You built that out of cardboard, Kim? 
No, I actually purchased this house. Remember, in our class, putting it all together? Yeah. We have our uh, cardboard containers, like the heart box or the round box. This was a house that they sell at Hobby Lobby. Oh! I thought I'd seen something like that. And the lid comes off. Look at that. You can keep, you can keep <laughs> stuff in here if you like. Oh, ain't that cute? That's a nice gift. That it is. is. All right, so if you have some type of beautiful type of box also that you that you like, it could be a Valentine's candy box or something that you think is neat and nice that you could uh, collage to give to someone. It can be a round box, a shoe box. Well, you know, maybe if it's a shoe box, make sure it's like really, really sturdy. But however, you can reinforce it. You can keep something like that. So just remember, if you can, when you are about to throw those, it's not like you have to save them forever. You're only saving about 20 rolls, and we use tissue and take paper towels all the time, but we don't want tissue rolls. We want the paper towel rolls because of the length and the, the sturdiness or the thickness of them. So please say no. All right. Also, I'm going to write some information in the chat. I hope you've been writing this down to, um, uh, if any, oh, sorry, if anybody in this class, you already know my link for the uh, Zoom and you know my password, obviously, because you're in class. Don't forget tomorrow at, uh, although I have my regular class at 1030 called Word Up, it's the class all about poetry spoken word and short stories. At 1 p.m. tomorrow, we will be having the annual crowning glory uh, event that will be at 1 p.m. If anybody wants to join to learn head wraps, various head wraps. Oh, yeah. At tomorrow at 1 p.m. And, and what will we need to get to follow along get get the uh material you need you, you have if you check your emails you'll see the flyer on the email okay okay yeah they have them already posted let's see All right, everyone, the crowning glory head wrap demonstration, learn the art of ethnic head wrapping. It's going to be Wednesday at 1 p.m. on my Zoom link with my password. Uh, you will need two to four yards of fabric. I always say if your fabric is, if you can stretch your arms out like this, and from tip the tip of your finger to the other one, then your fabric is long enough. However, if you have like short bands or those type of things, when people are generally in my class when we're at the facility, I use whatever type of cloth just to try to show you that you can make a wrap out of pretty much any piece of cloth, cloth if it can fit around your head. But however, you need two to four yards of fabric you need two to three sizes of fabric that will optimize the variety of head wrap styles that can be created. Meaning like I just, I don't generally spend a lot of money on um, African materials. Sometimes it's really expensive, but I go to like Goodwills and uh, Value Village to, they have like a lot of uh, scarves that they have there. And then Lately, I've been buying a few from the, since they become more popular, they sell them at the beauty supply store, okay. like $4.99, $5.99. So that's a pretty reasonable price for me. 
but um, you can use all sorts of things. T-shirts, like because the material is stretchy, you can cut the uh, sleeves off. You know, you can be very creative. Um, African fabric with bright, bold, and or colorful prints. Scarves, stretchy fabric, an old t-shirt for a more casual look. If you need, uh, one thing that I recommend is to please cut the sleeves off. Cotton works best as it is easily held in place. However, many women opt for silk or softer materials for a more delicate appearance. But be very mindful that when you have silky materials, they sort of slide and slip on your head. So um, you want to have a fabric that will last um, pretty much all day, especially if you have to be out uh, doing things. So that is what you will need for the fabric. 